those in authority. But don't fear them to where you do things that go against the word of God. Understand? Okay. This is the end of part one. Thank you for listening. says we must be doers of the word and not hearers only Jesus instructed us to go into all the world and preach the gospel he also included in that to lay hands on the sick to cast out demons to prophesy He wanted us to not just be mediocre Christians, but to do it from the heart. Many people know God, so does the devil. Many people think they understand the walk of a Christian life. But the truth is, the Bible says you will know them by their fruit. And the Bible also says that in the last days that many, many Christians that believe they are Christ-like will say unto me, Lord, Lord, we did this and this and this in your name. And he will look at them and say, depart from me. I don't know you. You know, once I was sitting with a group of young people and I was trying to explain to them the value and the importance of reading your Holy Bible daily. And I mean the King James, the New King James, the closest thing to the original without being watered down or anything removed from it. And they had a grocery man come to the door to deliver their groceries. And previous to that, of course, they had the pizza man coming on a continual basis. So using that analogy, I had said to them, would you let the pizza man or the food delivery man come into your house, swim in your pool, eat at your table, shower in your shower, sleep in your bed, use your computer, babysit your children, on and on and on. Would you do that? And obviously their reply was, no. And my reply then back was, neither would the Lord Jesus. He wants us to spend time with him. He wants us to spend time with him. There is head knowledge and there is heart knowledge. When we know of someone, oh yes, I know that person, or I've heard of that person, or when we actually know them, 
we're their friends or we spend time with them when you love someone you want to spend time with them God Almighty is the same way we were created in his image he wants us to spend time with him do you know those there, there, there's the saying of if you really want uh, to meet someone or if you really want to make it happen you'll find time to meet with them or you will find time to make it happen God Almighty Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit are the same way they want us to make time and find time for them after all they are our future if you plan to make it to heaven if you call yourself a Christian or if you desire to know what Christianity is all about and make it to heaven God Almighty doesn't want you just to know of him he wants you to know him in your heart it's heart knowledge it's heart passion when someone has a passion for something or someone they spend time with them they go out of their way to make sure that they set other things aside so they can spend time finishing that project or loving on that person God Almighty doesn't want you just to know Bible verses he wants you to speak them from the heart as if you mean them and believe them then he wants you to act upon them that's faith the first way to act upon it is faith talk if you need to be healed you say I am already healed Romans 4 17 says I am Jesus Christ said he took the stripes on his back 39 stripes to match 39 categories of illnesses to this day there are not 38 there is not 41 there's exactly 39 any medical person aware of that would be able to share that and confirm this is why Jesus Christ took 39 stripes on his back so first is faith talk and then it's actually doing it and doing it is if you still have consistent problems in your life constant problems over and over same routine pattern after pattern that tells us that there's a demon behind the problem there are many examples in the Word of God where it was self-induced like Samson or for instance in Moses in the case of Moses he purposely took the children of Israel right to the brink of life or death to the Red Sea because he was under order by the Holy Spirit the Lord knew what he was doing and Moses trusted him and knew his voice do you know his voice then there are cases where the devil imparts so much affliction on a good person it is our job as pastors and evangelists apostles preachers teachers prophets no matter the gender in heaven there is no gender in the matter of the heart you open up a person the heart doesn't tell you if it's a white black yellow male or female God looks at the heart man looks at the outward appearance it's the same Holy Spirit that can attach to every one of us so that Holy Spirit connects with the next 
Holy Spirit in every one of us. And that's how the spirits confirm each other, unite, that we're thinking the way God wants us to think. We're speaking the way God wants us to speak. We're doing what God Almighty has instructed us to do. In this powerful Bible, 66 books for us to relish, the prophet Isaiah left us 66 chapters. And I'm sure the devil had to pick up on that, that number, because we were also created on the sixth day. And to mimic everything that God Almighty does, to counterfeit, since there's the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, he had to triple his number, and that's how the 666 came into existence. It has many other revelations that we can speak of later. Right now, we're speaking of, if your problem is consistent over and over, pattern after pattern, and things are not getting better, there's a demon behind that problem. Why deal with it? when you can deliver it. Why deal with it when you can deliver it? Jesus Christ had 12 disciples. Satan has 12 strong men. Jesus Christ was the 13th among the 12. Satan is the 13th among his, among his 12 strong men but underneath every strong man which every one of them is written in the word of god i will not speak to you today anything outside of the word of god my life raft my standard is the mighty powerful word of god and nothing else does that make everyone that believes that perfect not in man's eyes all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Every one of us needs to repent every day. Every one of us need to read our Bible and pray every day. Many times people say they're too busy, they don't have any time. Well, we get physically dressed every day. And inside us is a spirit man. That spirit man, our ghost, which lives forever, or our spirit, which lives forever, it also needs to be dressed with the whole armor of God. So every day, you must dress your spirit man, dress your children, dress your business, dress all that you have on this earth with the protective blood of Jesus, the protective fire of the Holy Ghost, and the whole armor of God. Ephesians chapter 6. Vitally important. If you don't, you're wide open to the devil's attacks. It's like walking into a snowstorm with no coat on and slippers, no hat on, no scarf. You would freeze and perhaps freeze to death within hours. Your spirit man is froze and waiting for you to revive him. How? Force yourself, self-control. Take a hold of that Bible. Turn off the computer, the television, everything that distracts you. That's not of God. That is not of God. And open up the Word of God. Day and night, even if it's just for five minutes. And watch and see how your life will change for the better. Psalms 1 says so. Joshua chapter 1, 8 and 9 says so. every problem that you have there's a devil behind it I am here to address that problem Jesus said to the evil spirits who are you so we pointed it out who they were and I will tell you today and on all these different programs you will see who the enemy is behind your problem you call them by name and kick them out. And you command like Jesus did. No one commands wimpy. No one commands with a quiet, shy voice. 
that's like a, a bully picking on, yeah. So we have to be the bully when it comes to the devil. Because if we realize the authority and the power that we have in the Word of God, Colossians 1.27, the mystery is Christ in us, the hope of glory. How can you get Christ in you? By looking at his picture? By hearing? Oh yes, certain things. You read about someone. He left us a book full of information, 66 books, the Holy Bible, to read about him from A to Z. That's how you get to know Christ. And he will reveal himself to you in visions and dreams in songs and prophetic words and oh there's so many ways I have a teaching series the 28 ways God speaks to you he can speak a lot more than 28 but I know of 28 they're powerful when we're uncertain what to do he will share these strong men our powerful demons, the principalities, the powers, the rulers of darkness that we, they speak about in Ephesians chapter 6. This is my focus. To destroy the works of the enemy in your life. You may have a flourishing business. You may be a millionaire, billionaire, but you're still going to have problems. It's life. Why deal with it when you can deliver it? Say you're just an average person and you don't have all the money and you need to get ahead. Why deal with it when you can deliver that problem and achieve all that God has for you? If you only knew God's blueprint for you, you would probably cry. You would want to undo the clock and go back and do it again. His way. Oh! that we would know all that he has in store for us. Meditate, meditate, meditate on the Holy Word of God and watch it come to pass in your life. I want to talk about the 12 strong men and all the hundreds and thousands of little demons that answer to those 12 strong men. And those strong men then answer to Satan himself. Yes, they're to be acknowledged and recognized, just like Jesus said, Who are you? And then cast them out. We follow in Jesus' footsteps. Who are you? And we cast them out. Why deal with it when you can cast them out? Deliver it. Can you perform self-deliverance? Yes, yes. Yes. You don't need anyone to help you if you do it God's way. But I'm sure that you could find someone who is very comfortable with deliverance, who is, um, that is their call that God has put on their life to cast out demons out of people. That would help you make it go fast. Why deal with the problems when you can deliver the demon? Get him out of your life. Get him out of your children's life. Get him out of your finances. Get him out of your job, your family, your career, your ministry. Out in Jesus' name. Right now, I want to pray in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, we command every foul spirit that has come against these people watching, every foul spirit, we command you out in Jesus' name. We command you out in Jesus' name. We command you out in Jesus' name. You are replaced with the power, the presence, and the Holy Spirit of God. The fire of the Holy Spirit. The fire of the Holy Spirit. The fire of the Holy Spirit. The fire, the fire, the fire be on you. And may you be blessed from this time forward. Deliverance is yours in Jesus' mighty name.